everyone, it's me, your awesome Nico, and welcome to my channel. So guys, today we are going to learn about the GCF or what we call greatest common factor, right? Very interesting, right? So guys, I know it for you it's very easy, the greatest common factor. By the way, shout out to Teacher JM, my math teacher who effectively motivates me to do better in math. If you want to know more about GCF, please stay tuned till then. Okay, let's get started. I know Teacher JM has discussed this already to you, but for purposes of review, let's go over it once more. So again, what is GCF, Unico? Greatest common factor. Okay, that's correct. GCF, GCF stands for greatest common factor. Okay, let's have 16 and 36 as examples. Okay, when we say GCF, we are going to look for the factors that these two numbers have in common. And among those factors, let's see which is the greatest or the largest. That's why it's called GCF. Okay, we have three ways to find the GCF. Can, it's... You, can you still remember what are these three ways, Unico? It's listing method, prime factorization, and continuous division. Correct! You still remember? Okay, let's go over the listing method first. Okay. In listing method... You will list down all the numbers. Okay, correct. Yes. It's as easy as that. You will just have to list down all the factors Ow. that each number has. Okay. Let's take the same example. 16 and 36 for 16 what are the factors we have one times 16 okay one it's times one. 16 and then what else two times two eight. times eight what else four times four. Okay. Four. okay four times four Is 5 a factor? No. No. Is 6 a factor? No. 7? No, but 8. Yes, yeah, so we go back to 8. It's here already. Okay, so that's it. For 36, what it's are the factors? 1. 1 again. 36. 36. And 2 times 18. Three uh, times twelve. Three times twelve, that's correct. Very good. Four times nine. Okay. Is five a factor? No. Is six a factor? Yes. Six, six times, times six. six. How about seven? No. Eight, no. So we go back to nine. We already have nine here. So that's it. And now we are going to encircle or the Great all the common factors that they have. Okay. okay. Can you over can you go over here to encircle the numbers, the factors that they have in common? Okay, so we have one. 
We have two. two. We have four. That's correct. I, I listed four twice. We have... What else? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing else? Okay, yeah. so... I think four it's is the... the greatest common factor. Okay, they have four as the greatest common factor. Okay, G... GCF is four. Four. Okay, that's about it for the listing method. Now let's go. Let's go to the prime factorization. Okay. Very easy on um, listing method, right? Yes. Now we can go to prime factorization. Okay, prime factorization. When we say prime factorization, it is the breaking down of numbers into a set of prime numbers which, if we multiply together, will result in the original number. Okay. Which bring us to the next question, what is a prime number? A prime number is a number which has only two, two factors. factors. Yes, that's correct. Now, let's list down the first few prime numbers. We have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. For 2, we have 1 times 2, and that's it. For 3, we have 1 times 3. For 5, we, we have, have 1, one times, times 5. five. And 7, 1, one times, times seven. 7. 11, 1 times, times 11. 11. And 1 times, times 13. 13. Okay, that's why they are called prime numbers. Because these are the only factors that they, they have. have. Yes. Okay, so going back, we are going to factor out the numbers using a set of prime numbers, meaning the, fac the other factor should have a prime number. Okay. So, let's take again the same example that we have. Okay. It's 16 and 36 so for 16 what are the factors for 16 where the other number is a prime number so let's always start with the small number so 2 so 2 that's 2 times 8 this is already a prime number, so, and this one, we can still factor this out. So, again, let's have um, a prime number here, 2 times 4. And this is a prime number, okay? okay. So, there, that's 2 times 2. Okay. All prime numbers now. We have to do that until the both numbers are already prime numbers. Okay, for 36, we have 2 18. and 18, that's correct. And then 9. 2 and 9, that's correct. And three. 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 Three times three. Okay, so okay, sixteen is two times two times two times 
2. Okay, that's six, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16. And for 36, that's, um, let's also put it here, 36, that's 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So they only have this, 2 and 2, and nothing else. So, GCF is, GCF is 2 times 2, 4. Okay, same as what we have a while back using the listing method. GCF yes. is 4. Correct. Okay, so um, the next uh, method that we have, the last one, is the continuous division. Okay, continuous division. Are you enjoying it, Oniko? Yes. Very easy. Yes, easy. Easy, easy. PC. Easy, okay, easy, easy. continuous division. Okay, when we say continuous division from the phrase itself, we are going to divide continuously until all numbers have no common factors except one. Okay, so we are going to use the inverted division and we are going to take 16 and 36 the same examples okay always remember that we have to use a prime number as a divisor okay so let's try 2 is 16 and 36 divisible by 2 yes they are so okay 2, 16 divided by 2, that's 8. And 36 divided by 2, that's 18. Again, let's continue. Another upside down division. Okay, so is it two, still divisible by yes. 2? Yes. Yes. So, two, so ti uh, 2 divided by... 8 divided by 2, that's is four. 4. And 18 divided by 2, two is, is nine. 9. Okay, here, do they still have common prime number? No. Common factor? If we, if we use 3, this one will have remainder 1. So, we will stop right here. Okay, so that means we only have 2 times 2. It's 4. Okay, so GCF is 4. Is 4. Okay, that's correct. Because using the listing method and the prime factorization, we also have 4 as GCF. Okay, that's it. I hope you... You enjoyed? Did you enjoy it, Oniko? Yes, and I hope you guys too enjoyed and, you, and hope you learned something today.